Stand by. Hey, this is Jeff with Tentacor. We are often asked, why do we only make holsters for certain gun models, and we wanted to address that issue with you today. Our primary customer is the professionally minded user. Oftentimes the professional gun carrier, so the person in law enforcement or military, uh, is not professionally minded, and so we like to use that term professionally minded to kind of broadly talk about the higher end user, the person who's thinking very critically about their mindset, their tactics, their skill, and their equipment, and how those things are related and how those things are, are gonna support them to be successful in a violent confrontation. The professional user is gonna be very intentional about the equipment that they use. They wanna make sure it complements their tactics and skills. They're gonna be somebody who carries a gun all day, every day. The professionally minded user is also gonna take very seriously concealment, not just is the gun covered up and is there a big bulge sticking out, but how well does the gun actually conceal? And then also the robustness of their gear. How does it work together as a system? And it does the equipment that they have, the holster, the attachments, the belt, the clothing, all of the things that support concealment, are they robust enough that under the pressure of conflict that they will continue to function and perform their task? So we live in America and we have the freedom to exercise our constitutional rights. People should own guns, people should do whatever their interest is with guns. So if you're a hobbyist, you own a bunch of stuff, you have one of everything, you go to the range and you shoot, that's fun, you should do that. If you are the tactical training golfer, so instead of going with your buddies and playing golf, you go and you get dressed up in your tactical gear and you go take a class somewhere, or you do something, or maybe you're a competitive shooter. Like all of those things are great things and you should do those things, but those are different than the professionally minded user who is carrying a gun to protect themselves and their community and the people that they care about. For the professionally minded user, there is a relatively small number of gun designs, makes and models that are chosen. They've been around for a long time. Uh, they've gone through some sort of rigorous government testing program, and they're usually an issued gun for some sort of large law enforcement or military agency. And the reason why those things are important, assuming that there's not some sort of bias or corruption in those um, tests, is that it's vetted, right? It's a known thing. The most important aspect or features for those guns are going to be number one reliability and then things like ergonomics and accuracy assuming that they're modern handguns those are a second to robustness and durability right the most important thing in the middle of a violent confrontation is that your equipment works for tenacore 80 percent of what we sell is for nine millimeter Glocks. So we support Walther, we support 1911, 2011 guns, we support Smith & Wesson, we support SIG, despite supporting all those other brands, which all of those brands are good brands that people buy a lot of, and there's, it's really popular out there. Despite all of that, our primary customer is still buying 80 plus percent Glock. Doesn't mean you couldn't choose something else. You have things like the Walther PDP series, the Smith & Wesson m and series. There's lots of good guns out there that are reasonable alternatives to a Glock. But the reality is most professionally minded users have stuck with Glock because it is a known commodity. There's a known amount of aftermarket accessories and support. You know you're gonna be able to get holster support or sights or whatever is the other accessories that you want to go along with that. We plan to offer a larger variety of products for the existing gun makes and models we currently support and then also to expand that. Primarily, market demand is going to be what drives our expansion. So if there is a significant portion of our audience that is looking for a specific gun, then we're probably going to support that. So some folks who have, they have a certain perception about what it takes to make a thermoformed Kydex or Bolteron holster. And in their mind, they're like, just take the gun, you know, heat that stuff up in the toaster, stick it in there, press it into your foam, cut that thing and send it out to us. How long can that take? There was a day that I made holsters like that, uh, and that doesn't necessarily take a long time, but that's not how we make them today. To support a new gun in our product line or just add a new holster to an existing product is pretty involved. It is weeks if not months of 
time developing, designing, and testing the product. So there is, do we have the gun? Have we scanned it? Do we have a CAD for the gun model? Um, have we tested that CAD for the gun model? And how many iterations of adjustment do we have to go through to get the optimal fit for the gun? And then after that, we're gonna turn, turn that gun model into a holster. And again, go through that iterative process of cutting and forming and testing a whole bunch of different versions for that gun and that holster combination to ensure we are able to produce the high performing product that our customer demands. So our objective is to be better than we were yesterday as a company. Um, our objective is to make new products and to make better products. And so we are always evaluating the market and what is out there, what are the needs, um, what do we think we can do different or, and or better than what is existing there. And we are always working on stuff. So we have a team of engineers that are working on product development and we are always either trying to improve internal processes or products or create new products. At Tentacore, we've now been doing this for a minute uh, and we are really grateful for our customers who support us that are consistently buying products. They're coming back um, to try to support multiple guns or you know maybe they've had it for a long time and a holster is a wear item and it wore out and it's time to upgrade. Um, so we are really grateful for that. And we understand that we're, our brand is not for everybody and that's okay. There's lots of options out there. There's lots of people that make great products in the holster space and you should support and purchase the product that works best for your tactics and skills. I'm sure somebody has fired a full box of ammo sometime. Um, did you guys get that fly that flew in there? Um...